How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. And obviously, these are my own thoughts and opinions and are not speak on behalf of the Postal Service. Uh, today was today was a lot of walking. Yesterday, I had an 11 and a half hour day. Today, also 11 and a half hour day. And it didn't start off that way because they told me I had two hours on City 4. Not the best area. Obviously, it's getting darker before 5. So, uh, in the middle of the day, when I came back for, to get my packages, because uh, we usually have misthrow packages to come back for, and we have to backtrack, make sure we get all the packages delivered. I grabbed my extra as well. So, I grabbed City 4. Got that done while it was still light out. Uh, obviously, uh, well, it's in a not, a not a good area. And also, those houses, the houses are very far apart. And it's uh, it's not lit up well, and it's hard to see addresses. So a lot, you know, a lot of reasons for it to do it while it's still daylight out. So in the middle of the day, I went to go do that. Come back to City 18. That was four relays, two hours, or basically like half hour, re half hour per relay. Um, well, the one, the the second to last relay is like 40 minutes, but uh, it was around two hours. Mail was light. And then I came back to do my route. I was finishing my route. I had like, uh, let's see, I had, I had like two hours left on my route. And then uh, I got a call from one of the carriers, carriers saying, "Hey, could you come help?" Uh, she started late, and I'm like, "Yeah, you, you know me, just uh, you know, ask the supervisor if it's okay." And uh, she must have talked to my supervisor, and she's like, she said she could, she said that I could help her, and I'm like. You know, I'm always down for money. I'm sure she was, I was the first one she called probably because uh, I never say no to money. So I'm like, let's go, let's go. But uh, I had I, I had City 4 and City 18, which is all walking. And then uh, the route that she's on is uh, the Stairmaster route. And uh, so that's an hour and a half more of steps. So that was, uh, so it's, it was a long day of walking. My knees are killing me. Uh, the Bermuda Triangle, the City 18, City 4, and City 17. If you people in my office know exactly what those routes are about, That's exactly what those routes are about. Uh, a lot of walking and uh, very physical. A lot of packages. So uh, 11 and a half hour day today. I was I'm, I love this time of year. Not I hate the weather, but I love this time of year because I know overtime is a, is is abundant. So. Uh, back to back 11 and a half hour days. Did the Bermuda Triangle today. Uh, but it was nice. And I came home. I just, uh, you know, did my push ups. I cooked my uh, Jewel had a sale on venison meat. So I uh, got some. Uh, I always try to eat grass fed meat, organic meat. I always, because uh, I, feel, I feel the best when I eat uh, either orga or organic and grass fed meat. I feel the best. I feel strong. I feel energetic. I don't feel lethargic. I don't have that brain fog. Even though, like I said, 11 and a half hour day, physical day, I come home, cook, do my push-ups. I'm about to clean a little bit of my house and uh, I'm off tomorrow. So, you know, this animal diet, I love it. Uh, tablespoon of honey before I go to bed, tablespoon of honey when I wake up. Uh, nothing but, you know, meat and uh, fruit. That's that's what I swear by. It makes me feel great. So uh, don't change what's broken. I love it. The animal diet. It, it gives me a lot of energy and, uh, you know, being able to do what I do. Because when I cheat, like if I have Portillo's or something like that, the next day I feel like trash. So I, I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. And, uh, you know, I try to stay healthy as much as I can because... You know, with this job, it's very physical. It's very physically demanding. I got to make sure I treat my body right, make sure I'm ready to go. And uh, even though I'm not fighting anymore, I still like to stay in uh, fight-ready shape <laughs> just to, just in case, you know, be hard to, you know, be hard to, you know, take advantage of and stuff like that. I want to I want to be, uh, you know, physically capable. Even though, like I said, I'm not trained to step in the cage anymore, but I still want to, you know, be able to, you know, hold my own if... Uh, if I ever get into a self-defense situation. But yeah, good day today. Let's make that money. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanksgiving's coming up. A lot to be thankful for. I'll make another video uh, on that. But thank you guys all for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.